And we're seeing improvements with visibility throughout most of the valley. And it was a little bit cooler today compared to yesterday. And it looks like we do have a cooling trend, but it's be a very brief one. And we warm up later on in the week here. Skies are clear tonight for the most part, as you can see here from our Fresno uh, Pacific University North Fresno Campus Sky Cam. That's Front Road and Freeway 41. Blue skies above, and there's the thin layer of haze, of course, high pressures building over us. That usually happens. And due to a flow coming in from the west and monsoon moisture coming in from the south, it's actually mixing up the atmosphere. So smoke from the debt while are far not as widespread, not as severe as it's been the past uh, several days. Fresno, we topped out at 101 today. Still hot, better than the 105 we hit yesterday, and above the average of 99 for this time of year. And we're still below records. Those are above 110 for mid to late July here in Central California. Most of the valley in the triple digits today, 104 in Lemoore, 103 in Hanford, 98 though in Visalia, and 96 in Merced. So that's a good sign that we're cooling off. When the North Valley starts to see cooler temperatures, that means we just got to wait another day or so for Fresno County southward. And there's a bit of a breeze picking up on the west side of the valley. 16 mile hour winds in Lemoore, 10 in Hanford. That's that cool air from the coast spilling through the uh, passes in Delta, Northern California, that cool air settling into the valley. Still hot out there this evening. Fresno 100, 100 in Porterville, 99 in Lemoore, 99 in Madera this evening here. And compared to 24 hours ago, we are running several degrees cooler compared to this time yesterday. For most of the valley, tomorrow will be a little bit cooler as well. And then things will start to warm up once we get to about Wednesday into Thursday for most of the valley. There's that monsoon moisture I was talking about, mainly impacting the backside of the Sierra, but some of that activity did pick up in the uh, Sierra portion of the Tulare Mountains, the highest portion of the Fresno County Mountains. This continues for tomorrow, but most of the energy is in Southern California, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico. This ridge of high pressure that's keeping us hot is pulling in that moisture from the south. But this system coming in from the Gulf of Alaska, this is going to help us out over the next few days, pushing that cool air from the coast right into the valley and breaking that ridge down just a little bit. It's still going to be fairly warm for this time of year, mid to upper 90s throughout most of the valley. But by the end of the week into the weekend, that ridge does build back over us, and that's when triple digit heat comes back. We have good air quality in the North Valley for tomorrow, monitored for the rest of the valley. Again, this is mainly due to ozone here. We're still under an air quality alert until the debt while our fire is officially out. So smoke and haze still going to be an issue for a while here. And if you're headed out to the Grizzlies game for tonight, not too bad. 95 at first pitch at Chick Chansey Park. We're in the Grizzlies take on the uh, round rock under mostly clear skies and there'll be a light breeze and temperatures in the 80s towards the end of the game. There's the cloud cover I was talking about. Fresno County North, we're just seeing some cloud, but most of the shower activity to the south. Nice to see clear conditions at Huntington Lake. Live picture from our Central Valley Toda China Peak Sky Cam tonight. In the Sierra, there's still the possibility of a shower or thunderstorm at the highest terrain for tomorrow. 80s for the most part, a couple spots. Sequoia in the upper 70s tomorrow afternoon under partly sunny skies. Photo communities, mostly sunny skies. Again, just areas of smoke, mainly close to the debt wildfire. Other than that, mostly sunny. 94 in Coarse Gold, 92 in Mariposa, and 95 in Aubrey. Tonight in the Valley, mostly clear skies. Overnight lows of the 60s and 70s. Winds will pick up just a little bit from the northwest, about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow, 90s valley-wide. Fresno at 98, seasonable, just below the average of 99 for this time of year. 97 in Visalia and Madeira, and we're looking for 96 in Selma tomorrow afternoon. Extended forecast shows a few days in the 90s for the Central Valley. Plenty of sunshine as we move forward into the later part of the week here. Still going to be a little hazy here and there. Triple digit heat returns at least for Fresno on Thursday. That will continue into the weekend. Hottest day of the next seven looks to be about Friday with a high of 104. And then that's going to be pretty much the trend through the weekend here. Still just above 100. It's, it's just hot. It's not extreme heat. We're staying below records here, but it's still summer. It's still July and it's going to be hot here for a while here. But overall, at least we'll enjoy the 90s for a few days here in the Central Valley. We certainly will. Those are going to feel nice. Thank yeah. you. Keyword there, enjoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ruben. Well, coming up in sports, the latest on Don.